five great movies to tell you the truth. <laughs> yes, this is the Deep Thinkers Edition, Horror Edition. Now, with these movies, a lot you can get from these movies, even more than you can actually get from the news. Oh yes, it's very true. So I want you to pay close attention to this one. Put your thinking caps on, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm about to take you there. Number five, Silence of the Lambs. There's a lot of wickedness and a lot of madness that goes into the Silence of the Lamb movies. Just like there's a lot of wicked and madness that goes into the mind of a serial killer, especially those sporadic, super crazy ones. This was best up based off of Ed Gein and based off of a lot of different things. But a psychologist lady who is um, from the FBI is investigating the whole string of serial killers. And she has to go to Hannibal Lecter, Mr. Bite Your Cheek Off Himself, to, to, to pick his mind to see how a serial killer works. Number four, Needful Things. Oh yes, Needful Things is right up the alley of wickedness. If you really want to know how evilness works and how the devil works, you watch Needful Things. It's about a town that makes a deal with the devil one by one. Some may be in pain, some may be in lust, Everybody has something he wants from this devil, but he uses them to do deeds to one another, and they don't know where it's coming from. Just like in your life, when you don't know where that wickedness is coming from, oh yeah, brother, that's because of the devil's at work in it. If you watch this, no spoilers, no spoilers. If you watch this, you will actually see what is going on with the devil, how he uses other people to do his bidding against you, A against C and B against D, and you're like, I'm right behind um, A if you're B, but D is the one messing with you, if that makes any type of sense to y'all, you know, but it's a great movie, if you get a chance, go watch Needful Things, I believe it's on Hulu or um, Netflix, don't quote me on that, but it does show how dirty the deeds of the devil can get if you look at it with that said mindset. Now, it's um, a rare movie and it's by Stephen King. So if you get a chance, yes, check it out. You can't go wrong with Stephen King when it comes to reality made out of fiction. Also will make a great miniseries. Number three, The Sixth Sense. Now, I'm not saying that people are running around seeing ghosts and all that. That's madness right there. But there is something deeper going on with a lot of people that may have a sixth sense. But that's a talent. That's uh, something they're getting from the Lord. It's a skill they're getting from the Lord. If you seeing dead people and stuff like that, in my opinion, you are psychologically um, broken. And most likely, you got yourself into some madness. But I really believe this is really about the mindset of a schizophrenic. I believe this little boy in this movie was schizo. And I think that's what this whole movie was about but it is a great movie if you get a chance go see it it's an m night movie and that's all you need to know to me he's the closest to stephen king i mean i may even like his movies better but stephen king has much more movies that are good compared to him some of his movies stuck misery now misery is a play off of marriage trip with me go real deep with me on this one okay it's about marriage basically now the movie is set as this guy who's this author and his number one fan actually set him up in a trap like women do you set him up in a trap brought him back home and made it seem like 
she was taken care of. Now, when you first get a wife, she's all happy. And, oh, I love him and all this. I'm your number one fan and she's blowing you kisses. You're catching them. But she really can't wait to try to cut your feet off, to try to break your feet and make it where you can't move forward. And if you find a wife like this, you must move past it because a, a virtuous woman is very, very hard to find like the good book says and I actually believe this is a playoff of marriage and what happens when you put your mind to sleep and you actually think you can trust one of these 21st century I should say these 22nd century one of these 22nd century now let's talk about the devil now this movie is about people trapped in an elevator but every single person in this elevator had did some wickedness and the man who actually spoiler alert the man who actually got away he was thinking about all the madness he did but he never acted as an act of repentance so every last one of these people who when the lights go off bam they come back on and somebody's down, or somebody been bit, or somebody been stabbed, or somebody been scratched. And no one can figure out what is going on. Because it is the actual devil in this movie. Now a lot of people thought it was the black man, a lot of people thought it was the white man, a lot of people thought it was the creepy Middle Eastern, a lot of people thought it was the young girl, but it ended up being the least. But if you know me, you know this is the candidate, the red-headed Esau-looking woman. Who has caused more black deaths than the plague? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking who he may destroy. So be in these laws and y'all stay in this truth. All praises to the Most High.